shit, boy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You took me, bro. That's me, bro. Who are you? What do you do? Tell us about yourself. Hi, my name is Mohamed Abdu. I go by Mabdu. I'm a photographer, creative director, co-founder of Take More Photos, which is like an online community platform for photographers and creatives. And long story short, kid from East London, grew up just taking photos, and I just somehow ended up in this creative world. Oh, exactly. There we go. So um, it was worth the wait, innit? Yeah. Introduce yourself, bro. What's your name? What you do? What's up, what's up, Mr. John? Uh, where, what camera am I looking at? Yeah. What's up, Mr. John? Um, Director, producer, today I'm on HOD chat on Diamond Clear talking about Louise, who's she? Thanks for coming down. Pleasure. Obviously, we appreciate you coming down today. Yeah, yeah. Um, tell us about yourself and what you do. So, um, I'm Joe from Lighting by Joe. I'm a gaffer, um, occasional DP, and yeah, that's, that's it really. I paint pictures with the lights. So. Castle. Uh -huh. <laughs> Though you got to put like the pictures, yeah, bro. So well, people don't the reference it's gonna be right there, next uh, to the right side of your head. There's ah, already yeah, a video cool, playing. Cool, cool. <laughs> um, so, build it up. How do I describe build it up though? Um, what can I talk about like weed and that? Yeah, bro. Obviously, the it track is, is. Is, is Eloise. Eloise is a artist, a female singer. Um, she just released Who She today. Today is the 21st of May, so. You know, um, yeah, man, it was a good project. Uh, shot on 60 mil film, produced by myself and Andre Wu. So obviously the track Bill It Up, um, it's inspired by weed. So my motivation was kind of to play into that sort of whole weed, kind of whatever. Um, so I use the colors red um, and green, obviously green representing weed, red sort of representing fire. We smoke and we smoke and flavors too. That's in the whip I ain't talking I kind of just all meshed it together. I feel like everybody around me always has a good time. But I just like to be with my people. So obviously I know you've done, uh, you've done a couple big photos, etc. Um, and you also done Spotify ad with Davido. Uh, Davido. Sorry, my fellow Nigerian. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was the interval behind this and how did it come about? So... Spotify came to me one day and they were like, hey, Mo, we've got, uh, we'd like to, to creatively direct a project for us with Davido and we want it to be about West African diasporas. Um, pitch us an idea and then if we like it, we'll go through with it. And it was interesting because I did direct a few things, but from my own stuff, but this is the first time a big brand of that scale with a big artist wanted me to direct something for them. So I pitched the idea of having a range of different African diasporas, specifically West African since David is also West African but from the younger generation the older generation and the in between so we just wanted it to be about you know embracing black West Africans their culture their vibe and the album was called um, uh, <laughs> sorry the album t was called Good Times so we just wanted to show African people West Africans just having a good time but also embracing their diaspora so even though they're originally they from West Africa they're also born and raised or live in the UK and how their cultures are you know mixed in between but doesn't keep them from not being African they still embrace the African culture Yes, how did that one come about? Because obviously, you know, the director told me she's from Loki Films. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, shout out Loki. Um, she directed it for. We directed two music videos on the same day, which is crazy. Wow. Yeah, it was crazy. So we had the issue of um, basically Loki, you know, hit me up looking for a producer for the project. Um, obviously, I was down, so I was like, okay, cool. Um, you've got Who She, which is a one-shot style taking video shot on 16 mil film, and then Enough, which is still in the post-production. But um, yeah, man, um, Enough was uh, like a one-take, one-angle shot, 
video with multiple different setups, etc. Um, and yeah, it was a nice little process, you know. You know, had about a week or and a half to produce the job. Um, what else is there? A week and a half to produce a job. We had, you know, to look for crew, looking for um, the right space that we could do, you know, the, the different setups and be able to do both videos in the same day in the same place, etc. Yeah, because I, I, I just seen it just now and it looks beautiful. I won't lie to you. Like, like time of day, everything, I think that's really pulled cool. that way together. Shout out Ahmed, who's saying the DP. Um, oh, Ahmed? You, you yeah, I met my guy. Come yeah. on, yeah, yeah. He brought um brought the gizmos out. Um, we shot in sixteen mil. Um, had about four rolls. Um, with you know three minutes each on each roll. So we had to be very concise with what we shot. Um, on on a project like that, I think it's important to just get the right people there and kind of let them do the job. And as a producer, you're essentially just making sure that things are sorted, you know, putting out potential fires. In terms of uh, going back to PIFA show as well, yeah, that like, talk of maybe about the textures and how you use textures in front of the lens to give it the feel that you wanted. Oh, that was a secret. Oh, <laughs> so, you know, we shot at Golden Hour, or what is referred to as golden hour um, and essentially that's just when sunset is you know like capturing all them colours in the skies the oranges the blues um, the yellows it's not really a secret but you know um, so how did I get it textures for me textures are like I don't like having plain images so I like adding texture to my stuff I don't know if that's I mean every DP is different in a, or whatever um, so the textures I just tried to create like a soft shimmery kind of golden kind of look um, and I didn't want to use like the basic glimmer glass and whatever. So luckily on that day, I actually forgot what I needed to make my image look like that. So one of my sparks had um, a two-tone fabric and we just put it over the lenses. Just the way it reacted with the light, it kind of shimmers into the lens and refracts, if that's the right word, into the fabric. And then you sort of get that shimmer. So yeah, that was an interesting shoot, especially because the crew all black, the casting all black. I had my barber on there for a day because I was like, you know what, why not? Because girls always get hair and makeup. And I was like, for the guys, like, yo, let's do that. But yeah, it was just a very interesting project and it just felt nice to be able to do something that, like, holds a place in my heart. Yeah. That's hard with the barber, by the way. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I feel about yeah, on, on shoes, girls always get hair and makeup, but why, why do us guys never get barbers? Like, it don't make sense. And we had budget left over, so I was like, yo, barber, come for the day. <laughs> and and Loki, I wanted to trim myself, innit? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, like, you know, being that, you know, as a creative, sometimes you know, ideas get exactly what you want. Mm. Can you give that project and yourself a grade and what you would have improved had you known what you know now? A grade between one to five, five being top level, one being ah, good, damn, terrible that day. Hmm. Uh, Based off what we had, like the budget and the resources that we could have used, I would say we've done a good job. So I'd give it like a four. Um, Improvement wise, I don't know if there's anything I would improve because obviously there was limits, so I kind of stayed within what I knew I could make possible. I'd say on that day, performance wise, I'd give it a seven. Could have been a lot you better. Said one to five. Oh, a lot, lot, lot. That's a genius! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a wave. You said, yeah. Going back to the Eloise Who's She project now, how would you rate that project? Like, give us a, a damn and clear rating kind of thing. One to five, go Eloise, I would give that maybe a four. Um, I give it a four based on the fact that, you know, we got what we needed, etc. But if we could have had clearer skies, great. Yo, you're watching HOD chat by Dan Nuclear. That's saying I come on. You're watching HOD chat by Diamond Clear. Boom. That's my side. <laughs> you know, I'm Recreated it. <laughs> ah, done, bro. It's mine. Bro. <laughs> <laughs>